welcome back to another sizing video with me, your girl T. And today we are going to be trying on the brand new Buff Bunny Collection Swim 2022 collection. And I'm very excited to show you all of these pieces like always. So the Swim Collection launches on February 19th at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can head over to my Instagram and tap on the highlights if you would like a countdown reminder so that you don't miss this launch. You guys know that Buff Bunny, because they're collection-based, things sell out usually pretty quickly, especially the popular items, and restocks, restocks are not necessarily guaranteed. So if there's something that you think is just like an absolute must-have, I really encourage you to take advantage of launch day and the, the countdown reminders so that you don't miss out on those pieces. Just like I do with every brand new collection, I do giveaways. So there's one giveaway going on on Instagram right now. So if you're watching this video on the day that it came out, you still have time to go over there. Go to Instagram, go find that giveaway post and make sure that you enter. And I will select two winners to get a $50 gift card towards launch day. Um, but if you miss out on that one or if you're watching this video after launch, you still have the chance to win because I do a support code giveaway. So what that means is if you choose to purchase something from the Newsom collection and you use my support code Teresa at checkout, send me a screenshot of your email confirmation. Let me say that one more time. It has to be your email confirmation. So when you get that email that says, hey, we've processed your order, and you click on that little arrow and it drops down your item list, it should have my support code Teresa there, that's what I need a screenshot of. So screenshot, screenshot that, send it over to my email and I have that linked below. Send it to my email and then I will enter you into my support code giveaway where I will give out additional gift cards. So in the past, I've done two winners of $100. But I listened to you guys, I took your input, and it sounds like you guys, instead of wanting to do two winners of $100, you want to do four winners of $50. So that's what we're gonna do this time around. I'm gonna select four people for a support code giveaway to win a $50 gift card. So that is a total of six gift cards that we're gonna be giving away, two before launch and four after launch. And this is just a way to say thank you for all of your support. And yeah, I hope that you guys love today's pieces and that you are just as eager for summer as I am. For sizing reference, I am a 36 double D bra. So most of my sports bras I order in large and I stayed with that sizing for my swim tops. So all of my swim tops, just like the single tops, are large just like I would order with my sports bras. Now for bottoms, I do have a mix of large and extra large. Overall, I prefer to size up to extra large and swim bottoms just because I like to have more comfort and coverage, um, especially like in the, in the cheeky area. So I feel like sizing up sometimes does help me a little bit, um, but it doesn't necessarily always work. So while I'm going through the bottoms today, please know or you know notice what i tell you when, when i say hey i'm wearing a large i'm wearing extra large in this one size up size down or don't size up don't size down um because i think that's really going to be helpful when it comes to your best fit um so i would say start with just like whatever your normal legging size is for your bottoms and then just kind of gauge it off of that but like i said i'll go into detail when i get to the bottoms part of um each of these pieces for reference, I am 5'2", and normally I don't really share, like I always like, post it somewhere and tell you guys I'm 5'2", um, but I felt like I really needed to say that today, that I am 5'2", because there are two cover-ups um, that you know you might want to consider or not consider depending on your height. So that would be the Cayman cover-up and the Odyssey mesh pant. Um, but like I said, I'll talk more about that when I get to those pieces. All right, so I won't keep you waiting any longer. Um, 
this for this review I'm going by sets so I'm gonna start with one set move on and when I get to the set I'm gonna do top bottom top bottom top bottom so if you are looking for a specific piece or a specific set make sure that you check the timestamps below and then you can just click on the timestamp and it'll take you to that portion of the video so that you don't have to sit here and watch all of it if you're only interested in some parts of it although I do appreciate if you watch the whole thing and then don't forget that at the end of the video I do the Q&A where I answer your questions that you guys send me via Instagram. So I answer a lot of them as I'm going through the review itself, but there are some that I do cover more towards the end of the video. So definitely check out the Q&A just in case there's anything that you are still wondering. All right, let's get into it. Okay, first up I have the Surfside Top with the shark bite, shark bite bikini bottoms. These are the originals, um, not the V2. I will be reviewing the V2 separately, but these are the original ones. Now, full disclaimer, this is my Surfside top from last year, okay? I actually didn't get a Surfside top this year, but there have there's only been one change to this top. This top is coming back, and there's only been one change. The change is that before the branding right there was a little like it's still metal but it was like a little strip so now all of the branding has been swapped to medallions like this okay so that is the only difference between last year's serve side top and this year's serve side top Everything else is the same. The cut is the same. The fit is the same. Support is the same. Um, so this one, you can see, comes up a little bit higher. Um, this is probably going to be your most coverage bikini top out of all the tops. So if you want support and coverage, this is the one that you want to go with, okay? Now the back is stunning because we get this gorgeous crisscross um pattern design here and the beauty of it is that you can undo it and you can make it as tight or as loose as you need so mine is a large which is the normal size that i get for tops i do not feel the need to size up in this one um i just i feel because you can undo the strings in the back you can customize it to make it fit you so i would go with your normal size like whatever your normal like bra size sports bra sizes that's what i would go with so this is a large and it fits me perfectly fine okay now let's talk about the shark bite bottoms. Okay, so like I said, um, these are like the ones from last year. This is the smooth material, not the rib material. I'm wearing them with a straight across in the front and the little V in the back. So you can see, at least on me, that when I wear with the straight one in the front, it covers my belly button. Now if I were to wear the V side front, it does show my belly button, because my belly button, you guys, is literally like right here, like where the seam is. So if I wear the other one, then you can see my belly button a little bit. I like to wear it like this, especially because I'm thinking like, I like to be active when I'm out in the water. I like splashing around. Um, we do a lot of like kayaking. We like to do tubing. We like to do paddle boarding. So I like having like the, not to say it's support because it's not, it's not tummy control. So I don't want to tell you that this is a tummy control bottom. That is not how it was designed or marketed. However, it does have a little bit more support, especially when you wear it the straight across here. And it does have more coverage because, because it comes up a little bit higher. It sits high waisted. So therefore I just feel like this one, I could do anything and I can go do a cannonball in. I could go jump off of, you know, a cliff or something. Now, I did size up in these to XL. So normally, like my leggings and stuff, I wear a size large. But when it comes to bathing suit bottoms and just like underwear in general, I prefer to size up. Um, I feel like I appreciate the extra coverage, you know, here and the extra coverage back here. So I am perfectly happy sizing up in this one. There's another bottom that I don't recognize. Rec recommend sizing up and I'll tell you that in a minute but these I think that you're okay sizing up in they're like you see very stretchy but yet still very compressive and so like I said these are great for an active water day 
Now the cut and the fits pretty much similar to last year's. I have, I want to say like three of last year's. I have black, blue, I can't remember what other color I have. And to me, they fit the same. They, they hit me the same way. They, you know, same amount of cheekiness all the way around. There's only one difference between last year's Shark Bite Bottoms and this year's Shark Bite Bottoms. So let me show you. So these are my Shark Bite Bottoms from last year. And as you can see, the branding, the logo was right here, like by the V, and it was kind of like at an angle, and I apologize for them being so wrinkly. I haven't obviously been swimming in a while, <laughs> but the branding was, again, that metal like strip, and it was right there at the V. So this year, that's not where the branding is. This year, the branding is actually on the side. So here's that same one, but in the V. So this time, the branding is right here on the side. So no matter which way you decide to wear your shark bite bottoms, whether you wear them like this or you wear them like this, the logo is on the side. And so it doesn't look awkward, in my opinion. But yeah, so that is really the big difference between last year's Shark Bite and this year's Shark Bite. Now, I do have a 33 inch waist and I have 48 inch hips. And as you can see, they fit me just fine. Um, I do get a little bit of bunching sometimes right here. Um, again, but that's because I have a small waist. So of course, there's gonna be a little bit extra fabric. But I feel that if I had sized down to a large, it probably would have reduced the bunching right here. But then it would have been like super tight right here. And I don't want that in my bathing suits. I'd rather have a little bit of extra fabric right here than, um, and, and still like be comfortable and covered up than to have uh, not enough fabric and it being too tight, right? So shark bite bottoms come in a multitude of colors and they are so stinking cute. All right, now I have the Bermuda top and the Shark Bite V2 bottoms. So let's start with the Bermuda top, okay? So Bermuda top has this V opening right here. There is a wire right here to help keep the V shape of the top right here. It's not so low that it's like super revealing. I think it's more flirty than anything. Um, and then it just comes up here. So while it is not full coverage, I also don't think it's like super revealing. I think it's like a nice little mix of the two. This material is ribbed and I have it right here in another color for comparison. So I'm gonna zoom in right here. You can see that it is a ribbed material and let me stand it up for you. So you can see that that wire makes sure that that V keeps its shape so that it doesn't get all messed up. I'm thinking especially like after it gets wet, if it didn't have it right here, it might lose its shape and then it would kind of like flop down. So this prevents that from happening. I'm glad that it has that. Um, it has a little bit lower line right here kind of like some of the bras that we love from buff bunny collection probably not as much as like our rosa bra and our revolution bra but it does still have a little bit more so it kind of comes down as you can see a little bit lower and like on your rib cage this right here is not too tight at all now i have a large in mine um and honestly, I feel like I could have sized down to a medium. The reason I say that is because I do feel like there's not a lot of support. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I mean, nothing's popping out. But, you know, like I said before, I do like to be pretty active in the water. So I'm thinking that if I'm jumping around, I would rather have the peace of mind of having something a little bit tighter, knowing that things are going to stay inside. So, I don't know. I mean, it... The large is fine. It's not like too big on me at all, but I don't know. I kind of think that if I was between sizes, then I would size down. So if you're between sizes, size down. If you're not between sizes, then you could probably just do your normal size. Just be aware that it's it's um, like light to medium support, okay? Um, the back looks like this. So we have the three strap design. They come and they connect to the long line 
right there. This is very stretchy. For it being a ribbed material, it is very stretchy. I will tell you, it is not as stretchy as the Material Girl stuff. Um, I think someone asked that question, like, is it as stretchy as Material Girl? And yes, it's stretchy, like, Look, I'm showing you. It's very, very stretchy. Again, another reason why I say I think you'd be okay sizing down if you really, really wanted to. Um, but it's not as, I wouldn't say it's as stretchy as the Material Girl stuff. Um, so yeah, i just throwing that out there. It does have removable padding. Let me turn it inside out so you can see. The inside is not ribbed. Well, like this part is. But this part is not. So this is the, um, I have it inside out. Um, the inside of it is smooth and it does have the padding right there, which I love when the padding can be taken out from the top instead of the side. <laughs> Anybody else like that? I think I prefer that. Um, I don't know why I prefer that. Maybe because it's easier to like put in and then open. I don't know. But um, this one is not see-through. Like I, I don't see how this could be see-through because it is so bright and again, the breast area at least is like the ribbed on one side and then you have the pad and then you have the the smooth material on on this side so this one very doubtful that it would be see-through as far as the branding the branding is in, on the back all the all of this year's swim has this branding right here the little B logo the coin and it is stunning so many colors for this top as well so i'll put them on the screen here but i think it's very very cute and definitely a great choice where if you don't like a lot of stringy bikini tops this one is like the perfect compromise between again sexy sassy but also still a little bit classy because you know we're keeping things a little bit covered um i did notice that this does rise up every once in a while to me i don't care it doesn't bother me like as long as this part right here stays put which it does as long as this stays put i don't mind if this comes up or not i just wanted to make sure that i throw that out there because i know sometimes you girls ask about that so did want to point that out um it doesn't come up too high on the side it's not too tight at all like look see it's so stretchy so just wanted to point that out okay Let's talk about the Shark Bite V2 bottoms. So I have the regular ones in the back and I have the V2s in the front. And if I put them side, like literally one on top of the other, so you can kind of see where they are, right there. One on top of the other. You can see that the regular one comes out a little bit more. And I'm not stretching either bottom. I'm gonna put it right in the middle so you can see it comes out a little bit wider. I'm not stretching either bottom, okay? Now, I'm gonna stretch them out and the back one will stretch but this one will stretch even more so although it does come in smaller inch wise probably it does stretch out way more than the regular one so this one is going to fit a little bit more fitted it's going to be probably a little bit more supportive than this one again very very stretchy very very light just like the regular v2 you have the dip on one side and you have the straight on the other you have the coin medallion for the logo on the side and then again cheekiness from the bottom part of the bathing suit okay so like i said i sized up in all my bottoms extra large extra large this one in extra large is perfect i, I i'm glad that I got the extra large. This one, I'm kind of regretting sizing up because of the amount of stretch that it has. I feel like it's almost too big. Like, do you see how much more I can still stretch? Stretch it, so like, I have it on, but I can still stretch it so much more. And although it doesn't feel like super loose, I do feel like it's not like as, as like supportive and like tummy support and control as the regular one. So if you are looking for, you know, that tummy support, tummy compression, um, then go with the Shark Bite, the regular one, um, then the V2. Um, or just don't size up in the V2. Probably get your normal size. Don't size up in this one, get your normal size. You can see like literally how much more I can stretch it. Um, the other reason that I know that sizing up is probably not the best idea is because right here, I have so much fabric. You see, like, 
I can still stretch it so much. So if I had stayed with my normal size of large, I probably wouldn't have all this leftover fabric and stretch. It probably would have fit me the way that it's intended to fit. So don't size up in the V2. Let me say that again. Do not size up in the V2. And if you're in between sizes, then size down in the V2 because it's just that stretchy. Okay, this is the Santorini set. So this is a brand new set for this year. This was not part of swim last year and I am obsessed with it. So let's start with the Santorini top. So the Santorini top is this top that they say you can tie about eight different ways. I have tried it a whole bunch of different ways and I think this way is my favorite. My favorite with like the spaghetti strap going up and then the thicker strap going back, okay? The reason why I prefer it this way, and then again like crisscrossed right here and then around the neck. The reason I prefer it this way is for the girl support right here. I feel like this one makes sure that I keep everything where it needs to stay the best out of all the different ways that I've tried to tie it. So if you uh, want a tutorial on how I tied it this way, let me know and maybe I can make a reel um, over on Instagram. Maybe I can show you like two or three different ways, or maybe all the ways, I don't know, we'll see, um, of how to tie this Santorini top. The biggest thing to keep in mind with this top is your cup size, okay? Because these like skinny spaghetti straps, they're long, so you can tie them a whole bunch of ways. This one right here, thick one, again, it's long, you can tie it a whole bunch of ways. You can flip it to where like the stringy one in the bottom and then the thicker one comes up top. But what you wanna make sure that you keep in mind is the size of your cup. Because if you have a larger cup size, you're gonna need more fabric to cover up this, right? So if you're part of the big titty committee, Get, it, get your size, get your normal size, or even consider sizing up, depending on how big your cup size is. If you're part of the little bitty committee, then you can just stick with your normal size, and I think that you'll be fine. Um, I just wanted to point that out, because yeah, si you can size down to say you size down, and it probably will um, not have as long of the little strings, but then you might run into the problem of not having enough fabric to cover up here, right? So did want to point that out now i am a d cup d d double d cup um 36 double d is normally what i get in normal bras um for, mo for the most part most bras 36 double d so i got a large top and i feel like it covers up everything that needs to be covered up um so yeah i think depending on other ways that i might want to consider tying it i might have even sized up just in case but a large so far, it seems to be fine. So this one, I just got the strings, like kind of like twisted them and then tied around the back. So you can see right there. And then this one, I just brought straight back. And like, you see, like I'm telling you, you still have plenty of strap here. <laughs> and then this one too. So if you were to, if you were to wear it reverse, I, I would still have enough to even wrap it around the front of my like torso. So yeah, cup size. Focus on the cup size. <laughs> okay, Santorini bottoms. So in my opinion, they fit almost similar to the shark bite, okay? To me, they come up almost the same height. My belly button is right here, so they come up just above my belly button, okay? Um, and then cheekiness wise, again, because of the real estate that I have back here, I still get some cheekiness. Probably not as much cheekiness as the shark bite, and I think, I don't know, when I put them on, they feel like there's more coverage than the other ones. Um, I'll put them up side by side, or like one on top of the other so we can see. But, um, yeah, I feel like they're almost very similar to the Shark Bite. In fact, they said that it was inspired by the Shark Bite fit. The difference, though, is that now we have these little ties right here on the side. Okay, so I sized up to extra large in these, again, because I'm just... I want to size up in my bottoms, but I wish I hadn't. I wish I had stuck to my normal size of large. So 
I did um, a product shoot with Buff Bunny Collection and they had both the large and the extra large for me to try on and I actually did the shoot in the large and they looked better because I did not get like this right here. So I have a small, again, I have a small waist, like 33 to 48. It's a big discrepancy here. So because of that, I get extra fabric right here because I sized up. I shouldn't have sized up. So when I wore the large ones for the shoot, that didn't happen. So I do want to say that so you don't have to size up in these. I mean, if you want to, you can. Just be aware that you might have some extra fabric bunching in the back versus if you stick with your normal size, then that probably won't happen. Okay, because it didn't happen for me when I got, when I stuck to the large. So that's what it is. And then also because these right here are adjustable, like you can make them as tight as you want or as loose as you want. So you kind of have a little bit of wiggle room with your bottoms like when it comes to sizing so stick with your normal size guys like when i when i got the large all i had to do was just undo this a little bit more and they fit and they weren't like right here you know and all of this is strappy it, it wasn't like that it was probably just maybe like a centimeter over a little bit more and they just they fit better so yeah don't size up stick with your normal size on these and then just play around with the fit using the strings but i think they are so cute i love this absolutely love this again i think they would look so much better if i had gotten my size um but i love this set the santorini set oh so cute okay now i have the sun kiss set and i'm gonna be brutally honest right now i am very 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 uncomfortable <laughs> But for the sake of the review, I'm putting it on and I'm showing you, okay? And I'm not uncomfortable because of too much skin showing. I'm just uncomfortable because I don't think it covers me up where I want to be covered for my personal comfort, okay? So, let's start with the Sunkiss top. Also, Sunkiss did come out last year. So this is just, you know, new for this year, new colors, new prints. So, starting with the top. It's a triangle top. It is, it's got this cute little like double strap right here. It does have padding. Uh, I got a large and I feel like I should have gotten an extra large because I feel, I, I like having more coverage. I want to make sure that nothing's going to pop out. Um, and then the back, the back is Gorgeous, like I absolutely love this right here. This little like twist design with a little triangle and then you can tie it. I probably didn't tie it centered. That's just my bad. Um, so I absolutely love that. I just, you know, I like to be covered a little bit more. So I probably should have sized up. I have an extra large from last year and that one fits me so much better. So that's my bad. <laughs> I knew I had sized up last year. I should have asked to size up this year. Um, and I, it would have been fine. Like I, I wear my one from last year all the time. I just don't wear these bottoms. I wear other bottoms with it, but I do like it. So depending on how, depending on your cup size, you might want to consider sizing up in this one. Okay. That's just my personal tidbit. Okay. Sun kissed bottoms. <sighs> Sunkiss bottoms. Okay. These are the smallest bottoms out of the whole collection. So we've got the Shark Bite, Shark Bite B2, Santorini, Chasing Waterfalls, and then Sunkissed. This one's the smallest one. Like, it's tiny. It just it it just covers what needs to be covered. The back, basically a thong. Okay. I know my my video is gonna get flagged for this <laughs> don't flag my video okay i'm doing it for the people so here's my thing all of the other bottoms that i've worn so far cover me up past my belly button and i like that i like having you know covered up especially because like usually when i'm out like swimming and stuff i'm probably enjoying a couple of white cloths too and i probably end up getting a little bloated right and so it kind of keeps everything covered this one does not like everything's just 
there so it's a little uncomfortable also all of my other bottoms cover up my tummy tuck scar and these do not and i'm not ashamed of my tummy tuck scar like i'm very open about the fact that i had a tummy tuck you guys know that i don't hide it i don't care if my scar shows and other bathing suits but I did want to point that out. So if you've had a tummy tuck or even if you've had a C-section because my C-section scar sat like right here. And so like it's like right there. So I did want you to know that if you have any type of like tummy tuck or C-section scar, it's going to be visible. So you can see my tummy tuck scar all the way around. And like I said, it I don't care if my scar shows, but just... It's very on display here. Is it cute? Absolutely, it's freaking adorable. I absolutely love this bathing suit. I just wish I was more like comfortable in it. But the fact that it's very tiny, it's too tiny for my comfort, right? So I would wear this like to go sunbathe in my backyard. <laughs> I would wear this to tan. I don't know that I would actually go like do sports and stuff in this one um i know a lot of girls do though so you know personal preference again all personal preference and comfort here not for me <laughs> okay moving on to the one piece suits starting with the laguna one piece suit i adore this one so i did not get the laguna last year and i was really bummed about it so this year i you know, I asked, I was like, let me get my hands on a Laguna. And I did. So this one is in the color Tango. It's not as bright pink as Malibu pink. Um, I, th I think of this more like on the purpley tone of pink. So it's still pretty bright, but it's more purpley than pink. Here, let me grab the pink really quick. So if I hold the Malibu pink up against it, you can see the difference. Hopefully it focuses. This is more purpley. This is more true like Barbie pink, I think. So it's still a really, really pretty color, but this one is called Tango. And I believe this one is going to come in only three colors. Um, let me confirm for you. Yeah, it's gonna come in Onyx Black, um, Tango, which is what I'm wearing, and Terracotta, which is like that dusty red color. So. Um, this one does have a subtle ribbing. Hopefully the camera is focusing here. It's not like a textured ribbing. It's more like a ribbing on the print itself because I don't, I don't really feel it. To me, it all just feels like smooth, but I mean, there is ribbing there. There, I can see it. Um, and then the other thing about this swimsuit is that it does have a zipper and the zipper does go all the way <laughs> down um, and it stays which is what I love about this zipper like I've been moving around and it you know it has stayed exactly where I put it and then all the way up or all the way down you know in case you want some little peekaboo right there as far as cheekiness I do still think that this one's kind of cheeky you can see right there um, this one probably the bottom fits me pretty similar to what the shark bite bottoms fit me like um, but see like comes down a little bit lower here and depending on what I'm doing if the if the bathing suit does rise you might be able to see my scar but otherwise it's still pretty covered up um, as far as control it's it's pretty it's it's pretty thick so I do feel like it keeps everything nice and tight I did size up to an extra large and I have no issues with sizing up on this one I think it still fits me really really great it's still very very stretchy so I'm curious to see how it would fit if I had stuck to um, large rather than sized up to extra large so but yeah the the bra I'm sorry the top itself does have padding in here so I do love that and then of course you know I love it <laughs> so yeah Laguna one piece okay moving on to the shark bite one piece which we're all obsessed with and so am I so this one I got an extra large in fact I got all my one pieces extra large and this one I 100% recommend 
that you size up, okay? Um, although the bottom part of this bathing suit is extra large, like just the shark bite bottoms, I do feel like they're a little bit tighter. So I know for a fact that if I had gotten large, it would not have fit me. It would have been way too tight. So extra large is the way to go on this one for me. Um, if you are in between sizes, so like the Laguna one piece, um, I think, it, you know, probably go with your bottom size because the top part is so stretchy and it's full coverage. So it should fit like most size chests. This one, same thing. I would say go with your size and your bottoms. And then the top part can be adjusted because of the ties right here. So you can undo them, make them wider to give yourself more space. You can make them tighter to make it more tight, more snug for you. So I mean, I could have kept tightening it, but you know, I also didn't want it to look crazy tight. Um, so this one, go with whatever your bottom size is. Consider sizing up if you're in between sizes for sure. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm glad I did. This one does feel tight. So if you want um, a bathing suit that is going to keep you nice and tight this is the one um as far as compression i feel like this one is more supportive and compressive than the laguna one piece although i do love the laguna i feel like it's a little bit lighter a little bit stretchier this one does feel a little bit more snug and compressive i love that we have these strings right here so they're um from the bot from the top right here so you can see you can adjust however you want they are so so long so you can adjust them however you need I personally like to twist them and then bring them to the front and then tie it in the front because since the back is the sorry the front is pretty plain I feel like tying it in the front just kind of gives it that little that little something extra you know like Elle Woods would say that little something extra so I like having the tie in the front versus the back um cheekiness just as cheeky as the shark bite bottoms so keep that in mind although it is a one piece and it is full coverage here we do get the cheekiness back here um but yeah um this one does come up pretty high on the sides i don't think it digs in it personally doesn't dig in then again i also did size up to an extra large had I gotten my normal size, it probably would, but since I sized up, it didn't. It just comes up a little bit higher. It just sits higher right here, but it's not tight. It's not uncomfortable. Um, it's just higher, right? Um, yeah, so this one is going to come in four colors, prints, all down here, and yeah. Definitely a really, really cute go-to bathing suit for pretty much any occasion, in my opinion. I absolutely love this one. This is the Venetian one piece. And okay, a couple of things. One, it's got a textured ribbing um, fabric on the outside, but you do have like that swimsuit material on the inside. So it's not ribbed on both sides, just on the outside, okay? It does have padding in the bust. We love that. And then it, it's, it's attached on one side, but it's got a cutout over here. And then what I have done is I just, you know, tied the little ties and you can tie them however you prefer. Um, so I did size up to an extra large on this one because it's a, a one piece and I'm glad I did. Um, I don't feel that it looks too big. I do have some extra fabric here, but that's just because I have a short torso, so that's going to happen anyway. It happens with my bodysuits too, honestly. Um, but I'm glad because I would rather it like feel comfortable and I'm covered up um, here. So, you know, you kind of have a little bit of peekaboo there, or if I really want to pull it up, it'll be more like that. And it's just a little bit of peekaboo right here. Um, the other reason why I'm glad I sized up is for the cup. Um, size up here. I feel like I get the perfect amount of cup coverage and Had I gotten like a large I'm afraid that maybe this would have been like too tight or too small and the way it is like this in an extra large is just perfect for me um, So we have the strap on this side and we have the one on here. This one is removable So if you want to take it off you certainly can and then this right here is the most coverage on all of the bottoms. Now, I understand that all of the separate bottoms are all very cheeky, um, with Venetian probably, 
probably being the most coverage out of all the single bottoms. So in the one pieces, this is the one that has the most coverage and the bum right there. Um, so if you are thinking like family friendly, I mean, you know, family friendly can be subjective. So like, no, some people family friendly is thong, some people family friendly it's not. So if you're thinking more conservative family friendly, then this is probably the bathing suit for you. I still think it's cute though, like regardless, I think it's so adorable. Um, I got mine in the color terracotta. This is the only one that comes in a single, like one color. The other, the other two, um, which is a, a bossy print. Um, actually, I have it right here. It's the two-toned bossy print. So it's black bossy, white bossy. Do you see? And then the other one that it'll come in is the Lavender, which is Lavender Leopard with Lavender Bossy. Um, but they, they're they all like, like that. See? And so on this one, um, I did take off the other strap, so it fits more like that. Um, but yeah, this, is, this one is so comfortable. And like I said, very family friendly. It's so, it's still stretchy. So it's stretchy, but it's still like, snug so it's not like i'm not like you know i don't have gaps anywhere like fabric gaps or anything so yeah i think this one's really cute this is the venetian one piece okay this is the sail away sarong this is the shorter one i do have both and i'll compare them for you so this is the shorter one i did get it in the medium large size and you can see that i've got plenty of fabric on it and you can just tie it to fit your preference. I like tying mine on the side like this. And I like having just a little bit of, you know, peekaboo leg right there. That's my preferred way. I know some people prefer to have like the tie like more centered, which I, th I still think is a cute look. I just prefer a sideways tie like that. I just feel like it's very like sassy because you can see through it and you can see the bathing suit. And then same thing on the back, you can just see a little bit of the see-through peeky peekaboo of the bathing suit there. So I do like it. Um, the only thing that I wish was different about this, I absolutely love it. It's very, very soft. It's very, very thin. It's very, very cooling. The only thing that I wish was different was that the inside matched the outside so you can see the inside of it is more like white it's like very matte white and then the print is only on the outside because of the way that this sarong looks when it's tied the white part does come out so it is visible that is the only thing i would change about it everything else i absolutely love i'm still gonna wear the heck out of it um but i did want to point that out so you can see that right there okay and this is the Cayman cover-up so my personal favorite way to wear it is like a skirt so like a long length skirt covers way more than the other one than the sarong the, the sail away sarong so this one is just you know same fabric just longer and wider the reason for the wideness is you can also do like a full uh, cover up all the way up top. So let me undo this knot really quick. Um, you can turn it into like a dress almost. So if you put it up here, here, let me get my hair out of the way. And I like to like, I do the twist, I feel like it's better that way. You can then bring it up this way and you'll just mess with this. See, this is another reason why I wish that the outside or the inside match the outside so that when you do things like this, it all looks cohesive, it all looks the same. But essentially you could then do like tie it up and then it becomes more like a cute cover up dress. And it's just really, really cool, very, very light and refreshing. I'm sure some of you can come up with way better, uh, cuter ways to tie these. I'm just kind of going based off of what I've done so far. But you could even do like a tube top type of dress. So I'm gonna tie it on the back. Give me a sec. I'm gonna tie it on the back over here and it's still a cover up, but you get a cute little like twist right there. And so obviously you would just play with this little part here and cover up the white part. But look, look at that. It's so stinking cute. And you, you know, you get the little peekaboo right there and it's still longer. So it comes up to like 
mid calf on me. Very, very cute. But yeah, just wanted to show you this one. Okay, so this is the Odyssey Mesh Pant. So last year, not with Swim, but with Under the Sea, they came out with the Odyssey skirt, which looks like this. It's um, like a maxi skirt, and then it has this that comes towards the front, and it ties. So that is a similar concept for the pant. It's a full-length pant. Um, it's kind of got like a, it's not super flared, but almost like a flare at the bottom. However, it does have these strings that you can cinch to make it more like um, fitted to your ankle. Um, and then we have the little side things that come out so that you can wrap them towards the front and tie them. So I absolutely love this because you can kind of play with it. You can, you know, choose to tie your pants on the side. Or if you're like me, you probably prefer to have it more in the middle like this. And it's just such a cute cover-up option if you don't want the skirt. And I like this because it stays in place. Because since it's a pant and it has the waistband, it stays in place. Whereas the cover-up, you know, you have to tighten it to make it fit your, your size. This just automatically stays because of the adjustable, not adjustable, the stretchy waistband here. The back is adorable. The whole pant is meshed, so you will be able to see your bathing suit through it. I'm wearing the sun-kissed bottoms and lavender underneath. That's why it's very cheeky. And then like in the front, it's like right here. Um, so another great option as far as covering up. Now I'm 5'2", and they're long but they're not too long. Like, I don't feel like I'm gonna be dragging the pants as I'm walking. Um, however, I probably would tie the ties just so that they're not like trailing behind me because it does have the little ties. Um, but yeah, that's really the only thing that I would just, you know, say be aware of. To me, it sits like almost like a, a high rise legging. I'm sure that you could play with it and make it sit at your desired um, waist height. Um, and then I just went with my legging size on these. I went with a large and they fit perfect. And I, I don't feel like they're super tight. I don't feel like they're restrictive or anything. They're stretchy. Um, but yeah, so I would say stick with your normal legging size for this one. But yeah, Odyssey Mesh Pant. Okay, it's time for the Q&A portion of today's video and I'm gonna dive right in. First question, can we return or exchange if they don't fit? The answer is yes, as long as you have not removed the hygienic liner from the bottoms. So when you receive your bottoms, they have that like plastic liner in it. Don't remove that. Uh, make sure that you keep it on when you try your swimsuits on. Um, you know, you can even keep your underwear on as you try it on if you want to, but don't take that off because if that's been taken off, they will not accept your exchange or return. So. Be aware of that. Do the pants have the same fit on the waist as the skirt from last from last swim launch? Um, I don't remember there being a skirt last swim launch unless you're referring to the Odyssey skirt from under the sea. In which case, yes, it's very similar. It's like a stretchy waistband, um, and, the, and then the wrap that goes on top of it. Um, the only difference or one of the biggest difference would be the fabric because the other one was like a stretchy fabric. I don't think it was Nubri, but it was similar to Nubri or maybe it was Nubri. I can't remember right now. And then the mesh pants is a mesh fabric. Is the sizing uh, comparable to other swimwear brands? So I'll be honest, aside from Buff Bunny Swim, I only wear two other swim brands, um, which is Airy and Toluca. Um, Toluca is different because you order based on like your bra size. So you can't really compare these two, but Aerie does go by like small, medium, large, extra small, extra large. And I wear the same size bathing suits in Aerie as I do in Buff Bunny collection. So I get extra large um, one pieces and I get large tops and mostly extra large bottoms. So yes, I think that they're very similar as far as sizing. Wet bottoms. What bottoms are more coverage? So I already kind of went through all the pieces. Um, if you're talking about single bottoms, probably Santorini. If, but if you want like overall most coverage, then that's going to be the Venetian one piece. Are there any non-swim items coming out? So this is an exclusive 
swim collection. The only non-swim item would be the flow shorts. Are the pinks different in this launch? For example, Shark Bite Pink versus Laguna One Piece Pink. So yes, those are two completely different colors. If you did not watch my review of the Laguna One Piece, go back to it, find the timestamp below because I hold up the Malibu Pink as I'm wearing this. Does the Laguna piece suck you in? I don't think it sucks you in. Um, Again, check the timestamp below, go back to the Laguna One Piece where I reviewed it in depth. I don't think it sucks you in. You can size down if you want to and it's probably gonna be a little bit more form-fitting, a little bit more compressive. Um, but I wouldn't say that it's like, you know, like Sphinx suck you in or anything like that. Do the swim button, do the swim bottoms called Santorini show belly button on me? No, but you can go back to the Santorini bottoms so you can kind of see what they look like on me. Um, but on me, no, they don't show my belly button. Do the one pieces have a shelf bra or just padding? Just padding. Venetian has the padding. Laguna just has padding. Shark bite, padding. Yeah, it's just padding. There's no like shelf bra. Which swimsuits would you recommend for being active? For example, paddle boarding for a large bust. So I think that this one, the Laguna One Piece, is going to be a great option because it's such full coverage and it keeps everything in. Um, and then also the Shark Bite One Piece because just like this one, it comes up pretty high up here and it keeps the bust in and it's nice and tucked away. So I would say Laguna or Shark Bite One Piece. Will there be underwire support? No. Uh, none of the swimsuits from this collection have underwire support. Sizing comparison between ribbed and not ribbed. I found ribbed stretchier, looser last year. That is still the same this year. If you go back to the timestamp that I'm gonna put somewhere up here, I hold both of them side by side, one or one up against the other, so you can see how different the size is, and then the stretch also. Can you do color comparisons of yellow, pink, and lavender? Yes. So this is Miami Vice and this is Malibu. So you can see, although they're both very, very bright pink, this one has a more, I don't wanna say it's fluorescent cause it's not necessarily fluorescent, but it's more like highlighter pink. It's a true like bright Barbie pink in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's the color comparison for those. This is Rainwater and this is Lavender. So you can see that the Lavender is slightly darker than Rainwater's. I feel like it's more purpley, which this one's more like light bluish. And then, oh no, I got it. I got, I got makeup on it. Okay, and then this is the Aloha from this year. And then this is the Aloha from last year. I f they're almost similar, but I feel like last year's Aloha has a slight like greenish tint to it. I, I don't know, I could just be me going crazy, but there is a slight difference in the two. Are there pieces for larger busts? So if you're wanting for like um, a single top, if you want coverage and support, I'm gonna say the Surfside top is probably the best bet for larger busts because it it's it sits a little bit higher, um, and you can adjust the like the compression part of it with the strings in the back because you can make it tighter or wider, however you need to. Um, and then if you're talking about one pieces, Laguna one piece and the Shark Bite one piece are both gonna offer more support for the bigger chested ladies. Do the bottoms like the Shark Bite have any compression at all? I have never tried their swim before. Um, yes, the regular ones do have a little bit more compression. I still wouldn't say like their tummy support, but they do have more compression, the Shark Bite ones, than any of the other bottoms. So once again, I'm gonna put the timestamp right here where I compare the Shark Bite with the Shark Bite V2 so you can see the stretch and the compression part of that. Any bikini that covers tummy tuck scar? For me, the Shark Bite, the regular and the V2 both cover it. Um, Santorini, you can kind of see it only because it, it's open on the sides and it has like the crisscross strings. Um, but I mean, you'd have to like really be staring at me to see my tummy tuck scar. 
Um, and then as far as One Piece, the Venetian covers it up really well. Shark Bite One Piece covers it up very well. Laguna covers it up very well. I think the only one that really, really shows my tummy tuck scar is the Sunkissed Bottoms. Which one is your favorite? My favorite, I like all the Shark Bite Bottoms, but I really, really love the Santorini Bottoms this year too. I feel like it, they add a little extra spice with the little strings on the sides um so i absolutely love those the shark bite and the santorini and i love the santorini top at first i was a little afraid of it because i thought that i wasn't going to make it work for my body but i sat there and i've played with it and i really really have come to love it so i do like that top um the santorini top and then i really really like this laguna one piece like it's so comfortable and it's cute and it offers the coverage that i like in my bathing suits but it doesn't look like you know like an ugly bathing suit <laughs> and I, not the bathing suits are ugly but like I, I still feel like pretty in this bathing suit even though it's full coverage if, if you know what i mean so yeah this one um and honestly like even the venetian one piece is so pretty it's a full coverage bottom which generally i like medium coverage because i feel like if i wear too much coverage it makes me look bigger um but even though that one has way more coverage than the other ones i still really really like it and it's so stretchy and comfortable okay most of the questions that I, there's two more questions that i'm going to answer um that i really really want to hit in depth most of the rest of the questions are about fabrics about um colorways and things like that which i've already covered as i covered each individual piece so i'm not going to answer any more of those um but the two questions that remain are about the flow shorts and then about them being see-through when wet so let's talk about flow shorts first okay um flow shorts are coming back right here they're super gorgeous um they're a double line short they have um like a stretchy lining on the inside and they have a flowing flowy lining on the outside and they're gonna come and i believe eight colorways right here and they're so freaking cute and they have come out before they came out with marble collection and they came out with under the sea and i got shorts from both of those collections at that time and unfortunately i just cannot get the flow shorts to work for my body type so if i go with a large which is my normal bottoms size okay if i go with the large the inside lining is fine the waistband is fine but the flowy lining on the outside is too tight to the point where they're not even really flowy anymore if they're flow shorts they you know in my head because of the name they should feel kind of flowy like running shorts and that's not how they fit on me so then i opted to size up because like well maybe i just need to size up right so then i size up but then when i size up then the waistband is too big and they're like literally falling off of me so i can't i can't win it's just it's just my body shape i think more leaner athletic slim um like slender body types um can wear them and they look really really great but i'm more like pear shape almost like my the way my waist is and then the way my hips come out like i'm more pear shaped and so those shorts just don't work for my shape um i did try them on from this collection because they did make some updates on them they even added zippered pockets this time around and so when i was at headquarters um about a week or so ago um i was actually supposed to shoot in them and they gave me the large and like i got them on like they they came on but they just they looked the outside lining part looked too tight to where they didn't look like the way they're supposed to look so then they're like okay well no no worries we'll get you another one and then they got me the extra large but then again those were just way too big so then they were flowy but like the waistband was way too big and they were like sliding off of me so i did give them a try um at least there and i just because they don't work for me i asked for them to not be included in my box i didn't want something that i know i wouldn't wasn't going to be able to wear and i know that a lot of girls really really love that shorts like Aureli, Aureli 
she looks so gorgeous in hers like i love watching her wear hers um kara kara corey she has them too and they look gorgeous on her and i wish that i could wear them but they just they don't work for me so i think that if you are pear shaped like my body type you might have a similar problem as me but if you're shaped differently then definitely give them a try just you know those are my like like that's my honest feedback about the flow shorts okay and then the last question that you guys have asked is are these swimsuits actually like meant to be in water because i guess some of y'all were saying that your swimsuits were see-through last year i didn't have that problem last year i wore my swimsuits all year like i wore the heck out of my swimsuits last year um i have a lot of the sun kiss uh it's not it was sun kissed the, the yellow color it was a mustard yellow it was like a lighter yellow i wore those all the time and i never had issues with them being see-through so i'm gonna put one to the test and I figured that the lightest, lightest swimsuit from this collection is the Aloha, the Aloha Yellow. So I'm about to put on this Aloha and we're gonna go into my bathtub and I'm gonna get wet and we're gonna find out if they're see-through or not. Okay, let's go. Okay, I have to put my hair up because it's cute and I'm not trying to like wash my hair right now. Um, and I don't want to put the shower head on because I don't want my camera to get all wet. So I'm going to use a detachable shower head and I'm waiting for it to warm up. It's really cold. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, okay. It's getting wet. Oh, okay. So I'm purposely getting it as wet as I can. I don't see any see-throughness. I mean, you can probably see like the cup, but I think that's the same of any bathing suit. You can't see anything like anything, you know? Okay, I'm wetting the bottom. I don't think you'll be able to see anything in the bottoms either, but we're gonna confirm. So don't say I didn't test it. I'm testing it all for you. Okay. Whew. All right, I'm gonna lower the camera so we can see the bottoms. Okay, here are the bottoms. They're wet too. I don't think they're see-through, but you know, you be the judge of that. So I hope that helps. Ta-da, and now I'm just magically dry all over again. <laughs> Okay, I am so glad that you guys hung in there with me and watched this sizing video. And I hope that it has given you some peace of mind and I've answered some of the questions that you were hoping to get answers to. If you still have any lingering questions, please feel free to comment down below. And I'll be coming in here throughout the week and answering questions as time allows. Uh, do keep in mind that I also still work full time. I do have a full time like job um, and you know, I'm mom and I'm juggling all these things. So if I don't reply to your comment right away, please be patient with me. Um, but I do try to get back to your comments um, or you can always also check out my uh, Instagram page and check out my Buff Bunny Swim uh, highlight sorry can't speak today check out my swim highlight because i am saving everything from swim in there as i post about things color comparisons sizing pictures all of that stuff i'm saving it to the highlight you can go there tap through the highlight and hopefully you can find the answer there but yeah i'm really excited um to see what you guys get and see how they work for you and your body and your confidence and yeah don't forget to use my support code teresa if you want to support me and as an added bonus go ahead and email it over to me to enter you in the support code giveaway Swim launches February 19th at 1 p.m. Central Standard. And that's it. Bye.